Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Bison TV. I'm Kaylee Pierce. And I'm Evan Ashmore. From campus events to local and global happenings, we've got you covered. What was supposed to be a time of celebration quickly turned into chaos and fear when two individuals started shooting during the Kansas City Parade in Missouri. These two men happened to be in a verbal argument before they began to shoot at one another. The men have been arrested and charged with murder. One woman was killed and 22 people were injured. Nine of them were children. We continue to keep Kansas City in our prayers. The European Space Agency ERS-2 satellite was predicted to return to Earth on Wednesday, February 21st. According to CBS News, ERS-2's batteries were depleted and its communication antenna and onboard electronics were switched off, meaning there is no way to control the craft. However, the European Space Agency, the craft will burn up upon re-entry, with some remaining fragments likely to fall in the ocean. The agency also added that the risk of a person being struck by space debris is under 1 in 1 billion, or 65,000 times lower than the risk of being struck by lightning. Applications for the new Winter 2024 Global Outreach Trips are open today. These short trips will take place after fall finals and before Christmas. So, consider joining for an opportunity to work in the South American countries of Paraguay, Brazil, Argentina, Ecuador, or Peru. For more information, contact Melissa Stroud at melissa.stroud at okbu.edu. Tomorrow, February the 27th, there is a teacher education fair from 2 to 4 p.m. This opportunity will allow future educators to be continued through the OBU community and create better connections into schools around Oklahoma. Thursday, February 29th from 1 to 3 p.m., there is a career and internship fair for all majors and industries to look for job opportunities from working at a local church to corporate companies within Oklahoma and other states. If you haven't RSVP'd on the Simplicity Career Portal, that's okay. Just show up in your professional attire ready to meet employers. With the new reduced tuition rates, summer classes will be more accessible and affordable for those wanting to gain more credits in the summer. Each class is 50 per credit hour. If you are looking to take a summer class, get in contact with your advisor and prepare as summer class enrollments will be opening in April. After this commercial break, we have Brandon Spencer with Entertainment and Harrison Flowers with our sports update. Good morning, I'm Brandon Spencer, your entertainment anchor. Let's dive in. If you love Drake, then this information is for you. Drake is coming to Oklahoma on March 18th and 19th. He's going to be performing at the Paycom Event Center in Oklahoma City. The concerts start at 8 p.m. on both days. Tickets start at about $160, so make sure you get them before they sell out. Guess you could say that this concert was in God's plan. TikTok influencer Onaid Johnson has been arrested for alleged domestic violence. Johnson, known for his Angry React series on TikTok, was arrested in Burbank, California on February 12th, according to the Burbank Police Department report. He had allegedly been in a verbal argument that turned physical with a woman in a hotel. According to the police, the woman did not need any medical attention. On Tuesday, February 20th, Johnson posted a video on social media claiming that he acted in self-defense after a woman attacked him first. His court date is set for March 5th. If you want to see a new movie or in need of some entertainment, we have some exciting news for you. Action to sci-fi fans, Madam Web is now out in theaters. A two-hour film starring Dakota Johnson, Sidney Sweeney, and Emma Roberts, and the latest collaborative project from Marvel and Sony. For all the devoted Broadway fans out there, prepare to be spellbound because Wicked has finally made its way to Oklahoma City. From Wednesday, February 21st until Sunday, March 10th, whether you're a seasoned Broadway buff 
or just discovering the magic of musical theater, this is an event for you that you won't want to miss. Visit OKCCivicCenter.com for tickets. Thank you for tuning in on this segment of Bison TV. I'm Brandon Spencer. Next up is Harrison Flowers with sports. Good morning. We have a lot to cover today, so let's get started. OBU's women's stunt team is back in season. These women had their first game of the season on February 16th in Dallas, Texas. They competed against multiple universities over the course of two days and won three out of four matches. If you want to watch their home games, head over to the Stunt Instagram page at OBU underscore stunt to check out their schedule for this season. We've also got some baseball coming up. After finishing their series against Harding last week, the Bison baseball team will be back at home up against Missouri Southern tomorrow, February 27th at 3 p.m. The Bison are looking for revenge from their last meeting with Missouri Southern, losing 6-26. to 26. If you missed that game, they will also be playing a home series against Northwestern Oklahoma State on Friday and Saturday. Come out to the ballpark and support our boys. Got any spare time? On March 6th, OBU is hosting an intramural bowling tournament. There will be four-person teams in different competitions for mixed, men's, and women's. Sign-ups are open now on the IM League's app. Last week, the Shawnee High School's girls swim team won the 5A state championship. But what's more impressive is the fact that this is the third year in a row that they've won it. Clara Timmons, a senior on the team, said, quote, I kind of momentarily collapsed, honestly. Like I kind of dropped to my knees just praying and thanking God. It still doesn't feel real, end quote. The team faced much adversity as the April 19th tornado laid waste to their facilities. But in the end, their resilience won out. So congratulations goes out to these girls as they are now champs for the third time in a row. Thank you for tuning into the sports update. I'm Harrison Flowers. Back to you, Evan Cayley. Thank you, Brandon and Harrison. Once again, I'm Evan Ashmore. And I'm Kaylee Pierce. Your time is valuable, and we appreciate you choosing us to stay informed. If you have any news, tips, or feedback, don't hesitate to reach out on our Instagram at OBU Bison TV. The links that were mentioned will be in the description box below. Until next time.